this is Melissa from 50 Shades of Ink com. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to make a quick and simple project using the new Eastern Beauty stamp set. If you haven't had a chance um, to see this um, online or on Pinterest, it is a great stamp set. As a demonstrator, we were able to order this um, in the month of April and starting May 1st, um, it is available to our customers to order, so we're really excited about this promotion. Um, it does include three new ink pads in the new in color families. We have the, nope, it doesn't include beer burst, but we are going to use that. Um, the lemon lime twist. Let me grab this real quick. Fresh fig and Tranquil Tide. So those are just three of the new ink colors. And then um, this is the stamp set. And it is, like I said, Eastern Beauty. Let me zoom in on that for you. Um, some just really fun um, stamps with you know good different designs. Hello, thank you, enjoy today, a note for you and life is beautiful to think of you as to smile and let's be friends forever so just really fun stamp sets and it does have a coordinating die set that you can also order this is the Easter medallions um, these are wonderful you are gonna love them they have this one that will cut out kind of like a flower and then this is a uh, just a different little medallion and then these as you can tell coordinate with this stamp set um, this one would coordinate with this and these um, these stamps are bigger than what they're shown on the cover they just condense them a little bit to get them to get them all on there and you know Stampin' Up's really good about letting you know the size of the images if it's full size or not and this says you know the images are at 70 percent so you know right off the bat that they're going to be a little bit bigger than that but anyway so these are those um like I said everything coordinates together just to make beautiful um beautiful images and what I love about these is the circle does not cut all the way through, but it does coordinate with our layering circles, um, the stitch and the scallops. So if you wanted, you know, you could cut this out and it just gives you a really intricate design. Um, but then you can also use the layering circles with it to, to cut the full image out if you'd like. But these nest together. So as you can see, it looks like it's one... Uh, one big die, but it's actually three here. This is three different ones, and you can change these out for endless possibilities um, for different dies. And then, you know, the same with those. Those nest together, and those also. So, uh, we are going to use that today. Um, I've already done a little bit of the work ahead of time. I'd started working on this project, and I thought, well, I'm going to make a video about this. So, um, I have my card base, which is a whisper. I'm sorry. Um, that was cutting. Kind of it is Whisper White, the thick, and it's cut at four and a quarter by eight and a half. Let me zoom out a little bit more. Uh, four and a quarter by eight and a half. And then I have a piece of the Lemon Lime Twist that is cut at um, four by five and a quarter. And then this layer, uh, top layering piece of the Berry Burst is cut at three and three quarters by five and then I ran that through the big shot with the po large polka dot embossing folder which is retiring um, so if you want to get this stamp set go ahead and head on over to melissaculture.stampinup.net and get that today if it's not already sold out um, they are just selling like all, all of the retiring items are selling like hotcakes so if you have something that you've been eyeing I would suggest that you go ahead and um, run on over there and get that so we've got that um, okay so let's move on with this we are going to be using the big shot and um, 
this stamp set here to finish off this project. So let me go get that and we'll be right back. Okay, I've got the big shot now and I have my mag magnetic platform and the precision base plate because these are a little bit more intricate dies. We want to make sure that we get a good uh, crisp image or crisp cut with those. So we're going to use We're going to go ahead and jump on in and use this um, medallion set here. I am going to remove the um, the top, the first and the second layer, and then leave this one out because we're going to stamp our thank you in that one. And I've already got that mounted on this block, and I think yes, that's going to fit perfect. So um, you can cut these one at a time or you can cut um, both of them together. So I'm going to go ahead and cut both of them together um, and we'll run through this run this through our big shot and then we also need one more cutting pad on top to make our sandwich. Okay, like so. Uh-oh, that slid. Let's get that back a little bit and then we're going to run this through. And do it once and then we'll go back just just to be sure all right so we've got that and then so you'll see um right here and those just kind of fall out you can use your dye brush if you want to but they really fall out pretty easily um you know with the precision precision base plate it doesn't make them just fall out automatically um you know it just makes it a lot easier process so we'll just kind of poke those through like that two more okay so that's how that's going to cut um you could certainly um you know cut this down and layer it on something but i'm going to grab my layering circles and then run this piece through so you can see how that cuts out so let me go grab that Sorry, I didn't have it right beside me. All right. And I think I'm going to use the scalloped circles. I store mine in the um, stamp cases, which are also retiring. Um, I'm not sure at this point if they have any left in stock. Um, now, one thing to note is just because the additional stamp cases that you can purchase are going out of stock, Stampin' Up! will certainly still be packaging their um, their stamp sets in the clear cases and then you know of course if you have um, a damaged case uh, from shipping they can replace that they're just not selling extra um, additional uh, cases like they used to okay so move that out of the way and then we're going to put that back uh, right here and then Let's see, I think I'm going to go up oh, one more. Ah. Well, these got all out of order. Okay. Let me grab this one and see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll do that. It's going to give it a little bit bigger border, but I'm totally okay with that. I just love this lemon lime twist so much. So pretty. You're definitely going to want to get your hands on it. Um, so with the Eastern Palace Suite, I mentioned that it is available for customers to purchase. There are two separate bundles that are available from May 1st until May 31st. And the first, it's basically designed for a beginner and then... Um, you know, more advanced stamp for the beginner bundle includes the stamp set, um, the ink pads, I believe the paper. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I can um, link a, descri a 
put a link below um, with all of that information if you are interested. Um, but I do know if you want to get the dies, the, then it would be the um, the advanced bundle. So let's put that big shot away. We are done with that. All right, so now we're going to stamp on this, and I have my stamp pad already on there. We're going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. All right, and then we're just going to ink that up right in the center. Look how pretty that is. Don't you just love it? I love it when things just fall into place so easily. Um, like that and then we have we're gonna just pop this up um, let's see you know what I'm gonna pull this is just a little circle ring um, or dotted circle that's also part of that I'm going to clean this off if you don't have the stamp and scrub in the mist I highly recommend it it makes cleaning your stamps just a breeze um, also steals your stamps when you're not looking <laughs> um, I just love it so I'm gonna bring that berry burst back in I think it just needed a little bit more detail like that I like that a little off center, but that's okay. It's a good thing about crafting is that it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just perfect for you. Okay, so we've got that. We've got this. The very last thing I'm going to do is bring in some of the silver, um, silver thread, and we're just going to give it a little bit more, um, a little bit more decoration. So I'm going to put a little adhesive there and then kind of make since the medallion is kind of big I want it you know to peek out of both sides so I'm going to just kind of spread my fingers and wrap it around I don't know eight ten times however however many you would like to and then I just take it like so and then usually just kind of pinch it in the middle and then pop that down on the adhesive so now you see the silver coming through doesn't give it a lot of um, a lot of detail just a hint which is what I was looking for all right now I need my dimensionals I have them right here sorry about that and we're gonna take Oh, I don't know, just two. Um, you could put more. Um, there are, you know, definitely some great places to put them. In fact, I think we're going to just trim that up and just cut off a few extra just to give it a little bit more support. Put those right there where you can't see them. not wanting to go and say no leave me alone <laughs> all right oh, that one. Ah. okay get it together sister just get it together there we go okay now we'll take the backs off the rest of these <laughs> sometimes things go exactly like you want and sometimes you just have to play with it love on it a little bit all right and then we're going to take that and just pop that down right there in the corner. And so there we have our simple little card. Um, I hope you enjoy. If you would like to order these products on May 1st, visit my website at melissacoulter.stampinup.net. 
And you can also find me on my new blog at uh, 50 shades of ink .blogspot com. So I hope you enjoy. Talk to you soon. Bye.